guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a little unboxing of my new doc martin loafers hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a little unboxing video plus how to style my brand new doc martens which i'm going to be showing you guys in a second okay so i just got these brand new doc martens for my birthday and i want to do like a little review on them plus like a little styling video because I've been wanting to get these for a few months and I haven't seen anyone do a styling video with the same style as me so hopefully I can help you guys if you guys have the same style as me but without further ado, let's unbox it. So I got the Adrienne tassel loafers in the size 7. I'm usually a size 8 and even the 8s are a little small because I'm a size 8 and a half slash 9 so sizes run different for me from my perspective when I try on the shoes because I'm in between sizes so if I say something wrong about the sizing please let me know so I can correct myself but I went down a size because they do run really big the worker even said that these shoes run really big but they're super comfortable these are probably one of my most comfortable Doc Martens because my toe doesn't really touch or like really bend in the front so these fit me like perfect they fit like a glove so if you are a size 8 on the dot I would probably get a size 6 only because for me I'm a size 8 and a half and these fit me perfect and these are a size 7 but other than that these shoes are really comfortable like my other Doc Martens that are Mary Jane's the raw hem is really rough so it cuts the back of my foot so I have to wear like a lot of padding and like bandages on the back of them but these ones are really nice and you don't have to worry about that because the the fold and the stitching okay they also give you these little heel grips to put on the back of your heels so this part doesn't hurt but honestly you don't even need these personally for me I don't need them and they don't hurt at all they're really nice and snug, so if you have wider feet, I would probably not suggest these type of shoes. But other than that, these shoes are really nice. They're a little squeaky, but I think that's pretty much just all Doc Martens. Even though the shoes I've had for five years from Doc Martens, they're still kind of squeaky. So I think you just have to like break them in. But other than that, that's my little review on these shoes. They're a very nice pair of shoes, and they retail for about... 140 or 150 i'm not exactly sure but i'll put it on the screen how much they retail for and if you put your email in you'll get a 10 percent discount code so that's what my mom did okay so this first outfit is definitely if you're in a warmer location i know in certain parts in california it's still a little warm but where i live right now it's not very warm so i'm devastated i'm not gonna be able to wear these shorts anytime soon unless i want to wear them with tights but this is one of my favorite simple basic outfits to style the loafers and then some cool sunnies obviously to spice it up and the same with this this is just a very basic black top white shorts matches the socks and the shoes and then having a black purse and then always having a fun pair of sunnies to spice up the outfit make it look a little bit more fun and it adds some color to your outfit too Okay, as I was going through the clothes and what I picked out for this video, this is a bonus outfit. I just couldn't stop. I thought the outfit was just so cute and I wanted to show you guys how simple a monochrome outfit like this and then throwing on a leather jacket with it can make an outfit look so elevated and so edgy. I also paired it with the sunnies to make it look more edgy because I have... A ton of sunglasses, but I thought these ones in particular would be really cool with this fit. Okay, as I was putting this lookbook together, I absolutely fell in love with this outfit. If I had a mini or skirt, I would have definitely worn it because this skirt is a little big. So it's not to my liking for the length, but it is still a really cute outfit. And you can also wear black sheer tights with this outfit and it still looks really good. I would also wear them with a different pair of Doc Martens if you guys have the 8053s. I think this would also be a really cute outfit for this, those shoes. And then here is more of like a winterish fall related outfit because I have a knit top and then I just have some basic acid wash 
blue denim jeans and then I cuffed them because they're a little long but they stop at an awkward fit and then I love sweaters like this that they're kind of low in the back if you put it off the shoulders I think it's super cute and definitely gives it more of a fun vibe because it has a cooler neckline and then if you guys didn't like it because it was too oversized then here's the cropped version which I absolutely love I think either way is super cute and then here it is with the purse this is definitely going to be one of my favorite winter outfits to wear and then you can always just throw on a coat if it gets cold and then here is more of like a warmer outfit if where you live is warmer just a slit skirt you can always add some tights with any fit or a coat to go with it i just don't have that much so i can't really add much into the video but this outfit is very simple i'm going on a picnic picnic date and then if you guys want to spice it up and add some colors to the outfit i put some blue sunnies with it well that was it for this video well that was it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's new youtube video if you guys want more videos like this in the future please let me know and i'll be sure to make more in the future bye well, that was it for this YouTube video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's new YouTube video. If you guys want more videos like this, please let me know, and I'll be sure to make more in the future. Bye!